Hi everyone, I'm Shruti and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know to be on your way to becoming a hot pot card shark in the underground black market in Palia. So let's get started. Hot Pot is a four-player card game in the world of Palia that you can play with friends and others in the black market area found in the sewers under Kalima. You can get to this area either by finding the sewer entrance here or by completing the quest Wares in Low Places from Zeki, after which he will give you a key to access the black market from a secret area behind his counter in the General Market Building in Kalima. Hot Pot is only able to be played within a specific time window each Pelian day from 6pm till 3am. Be sure to keep an eye on your in-game clock so as not to miss this window when the card game is underway. Not only is Hot Pot extremely fun and addicting to play on its own, but you can also earn some pretty fun rewards just by participating in matches every day. You'll receive one coin for each match that you play, or two if you win and you will have a chance to spend the prize well after each play session in exchange for two of these reward coins. And you'll get the chance to win wear ingredients, house decor, bags of money, giant plushies, and so much more. All right, so let's start by going over the various cards that are available in the Hot Pot deck. There are eight sets of cards in a Hot Pot deck, and each set has three different items within it. There are four of each set in a deck, making for a total of 96 cards in a full Hot Pot deck. Keep in mind, there are no official names for these cards that I could find on the internet, so these are just what I call them. Others may have different names for them, but it's usually pretty obvious to which cards they're referring. The sets are as follows. Brown, or noodle set, which contains yellow noodles, chopstick noodles, or rolled noodle cards. Blue, or seafood set, which contains fish, claw, and shrimp cards. Green, or green veggie set, which contains bok choy, cabbage, and green onion cards. Spices, or orange set, which contains garlic, heat root, and dari clove cards. Garden veggies, or yellow set, which contains corn, potato, and carrot cards. Meats, or red set, which contains rolled meats, steak, or three meat cards. Mushrooms, or purple set, which contains red mushroom, blue mushroom, and white mushroom cards. And finally, the doughy type foods are the white set, which contains tofu, eggs, and dumpling cards. Now that we have an idea of which cards are in the game, let's take a look at the table setup, and then dive into the rules and, more importantly, how you can secure for yourself that dub and the extra coins for even more chances at winning the elusive and rare giant plushies from the prize wheel. As mentioned previously, Hot Pot is a game for four players. However, if you join a table and no other players join you within 90 seconds, you'll be paired up against AI players. These AI players are not very smart and don't make a lot of sets, so while you still get a participation coin and two of you win, you will not have as high of a table score overall, and therefore you won't make as much gold from every match that you play. So just keep this in mind with selecting a table to play at, and this is why I always recommend trying to find a table with other real players instead of going against the AI. Now let's get to the table layout itself. Going from the center outwards, we'll start with the inner circle, which contains the draw pile in the dead center. This contains all the cards not already in player hands or in the next section, which is the player discard section. Here, each card discarded by a player on their last turn will become available for other players to exchange with one of their cards during the discard phase of their turn. After this inner circle, we come to the section for each of the player's hands. Your hand will be directly in front of you and will contain 8 permanent cards, and if it's your turn, a potential ninth card, which you can either keep by exchanging one of your currently held permanent cards, discard it, or use to complete your final set and win the game. Alright, so that is the hot pot table and cards involved in the game explained, but how do we actually play the game? It's actually quite simple to learn, but extremely hard to master. Hot Pot is played in a series of rounds and continues until one player makes the win condition, three sets which we'll cover shortly in the video. Each round has players going through two phases in their turn, so let's get into these phases that you will make use of on your turn to try and build the best possible hand. Each turn, you will have a draw phase and a discard phase. In the draw phase, each player can do one of the following. They can draw a card from the center deck, or if they are not the very first player to have a turn in a match, they can choose to take one of the cards discarded by a previous player. If you are the first player to have a turn in a match, you can only draw from the center pile for your first turn. 
You can also see whose turn it is by a silver coin that is placed in front of the current player. This coin rotates around the table as each round of Hot Pot progresses, so it's always easy to see who is currently up and who will be next in each round. Next, the player will enter into their discard phase. During this phase, the player can either discard the card they picked up or drew, or exchange the card they picked up or drew for one of the previous permanent cards in their hand, if they believe it will help them better build a set and win the game. Unless the card you draw or pick up completes your third and final set, instantly ending the game and securing yourself the win, you must discard a card during your turn. It's important to remember there are four of each card available in the Hot Pot deck, so keep this in mind when you are watching the turns of your fellow players and coming up with your own strategy about which cards you will keep, which cards you will discard, and if you will draw from the center stack or take a card from one of your fellow players' discards on each of your turns. Being able to judge what cards your fellow players need and which are likely to discard is key to becoming a hot pot master and winning as many as possible coins for the prize wheel. Now we know what goes into each turn of the game, but how do we actually win a game of hot pot? That's actually pretty simple, so let's break down the potential win conditions that can trigger the end of that particular match. The first player of the four to complete any combination of three sets wins the game. A set consists of either three of a kind, for example, three red stakes, or three variation sets, which are all one color and contain one of each item type in that color. For example, one yellow noodle, one chopstick noodle, and one folded noodle is a variation set. You can win by having three of any of these sets, so win conditions would be three three of a kinds, one three of a kind, and two variation sets, three variation sets, or any combination of the above. Since you only have eight permanent cards in your hand, but need nine cards to win a match of Hot Pot, keep in mind that your winning card will always come from a draw or picking up a card discarded by one of your fellow players. You know you are ready to start looking out for a win condition card when you have two full sets in your hand and one two-third set ready to be finished. When you or another player has reached the win condition, an alert will announce that it is time to eat and the round will immediately end. After each round of Hot Pot, you can see a summary of everyone's hands and what they had at the end of the previous match, as well as a screen breaking down the total table points based on the value of the hands held by each player. This is how you can know the amount of gold you made from that previous round. However, since there is a limited amount of time to play Hot Pot each Pelean day, be careful not to linger on these screens too long, so that you and your fellow players can get in as many exciting matches of Hot Pot as possible and maximize the number of reward coins you'll walk away with from each Hot Pot session. Every moment you spend being nosy is potentially one less chance to secure that giant adorable plushie reward, so I recommend getting into the next game as soon as possible. Alright, so we know the cards how to make sets, what the table looks like, and how to win. What are the rewards we can get from participating in Hot Pot each day? Well, as mentioned previously, you can win reward coins that let you spin the wheel for a chance to win various prizes from home decor items, bags of gold coins, rare ingredients, fireworks, or one of a few rare giant plushies. You also get gold after each match based on the total table points combined from all players in the previous match. Alright, that wraps up everything you need to know in order to play and enjoy this wonderful Pelean pastime called Hot Pot. You're armed with all the knowledge to be well on your way to becoming a Hot Pot champion in the world of Pelea. If you have any other tips or tricks you think other members of the community could benefit from, please do share them in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, I'd very much appreciate it if you gave it a like and shared it with some of your friends. I'm a new content creator, and every interaction from you all is such a motivational boost to keep me pushing myself to make better and better content for the channel, so I really appreciate it. If you want to see more Palia content, subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit the little bell icon so you don't miss my next Palia upload. If you want to join me for live streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 4 p.m. Eastern European time, you can find me over on Twitch. And we also have an active and growing Discord where we can chat about Polia, other games, and in general just hang out. I'd love to have you as part of our growing community. Links to all of this will be posted in the description. I really appreciate you watching my content and supporting my channel. Until the next one, take care and good luck out there on the hot pot tables. Bye bye! No jitters for me, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like we don't have any jitters even on the zoning thing. We go into the city and there are jitters. That's gonna be pretty shitty. Let's go, let's go. No jitters, whoa, no jitters.
No jitters in the city for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no jitters in the city for me. 